Hey guys, time to get another one of these Mech Commander slash Mech Warrior games going. So we've got Mech Commander Gold. So on this, there's going to be two kind of tutorials in one. The first one is going to be very easy to do. The second one's fairly easy to do. And that is going to give you a high resolution version of the game. So it's a modern version of the game. It's going to work on Windows 10. Um, and if you happen to want to play the original, uh, say for example you have a disc or you just have the original image file uh, disk image file whatever um, you will be able to run it from that as well I like playing the original for the nostalgia value but having that higher resolution and like being yeah, looking a bit nicer is sometimes fun as well right okay so let's do this first thing we're going to need to do you're going to, need to get two files you're going to need the actual disk image file which is this it's going to be Met Commander Gold it's an NRG file and then you're also going to need this uh, 7-zip file, which is MCX original. That is the one that's got the high resolution stuff in it. <clears throat> right, so the first thing we're going to have to do to do this is we're going to have to get hold of the Mech Commander Gold image file. Now, if you just have the disk and you just want to play it off of the disk, like whatever disk you have, you don't need this. And that will be covered on the second half of this tutorial. But if you don't have the disk, or if, say, for example, you're a bit of an idiot like me who might have set up their computer without a bay for the disk drive, yeah, that happened, um, you're going to need this image file here. So I've typed in Mech Commander Gold into Google, and the first thing I've got, well, second thing I've got come up is it's Mech Commander Gold in my abandonware. As a general rule of thumb, I always say this, make sure you do check anything you're getting if you've A, got any concerns, or B, you know, just a standard check something's okay but my abandonware never had any problems and the high resolution one we're going to be getting that's going to be coming from uh, mod db and there's never a problem with that uh, well i've never had a problem with it All right so click on this download and you want the iso version the iso it will come in a zip file and inside that zip file when you extract it you should get this mech commander gold dot nrg if i hold the mouse over that it's an nrg file that's what we're going to mount um, to our virtual disk drive. Next thing you're going to want to get is your Met Commander Gold High Resolution. I've Googled that, as you can see up here, Met Commander Gold High Resolution. Um, and you should get this link here, which is moddb. It should be moddb.com slash mod slash Met Commander dash gold dash high dash res. That was a bit of a mouthful. Once you click on that, you should see this description. Basically, if you're seeing this description, you're on the right thing. Um, but I think if you're on any of the Met Commander Gold stuff on this, it, you should come to the, uh, the, the same files. Uh, just make sure it's this one here that you do have all of these resolutions and it does tell you you have the, uh, the, ca the extended campaigns. Right, so we're going to click on files and you want this MCX original one there. That will be a 7-zip file. So that is those two files up there. That's a 7-zip. That's the image file. Now, before we do any of this, we need to make sure Windows features are turned on. Otherwise, the program just will not run. So legacy features. So what we're going to do is go to settings. Once you're on settings, you want to type in Windows features. You want this turn Windows features on or off. That'll open up this and you want these legacy components here. And you just want to make sure you've got direct play installed. Now, I actually have that turned off there because I was double checking they did actually need on. So I'm just going to turn that on and you should see, you'll get this. There you go, Windows completed the requested changes. Right, okay, so now it will run, or at least the actual application will run. Now uh, we need to set it up so that it thinks it's got a disk drive in there. You're going to want these Daemon Light tools. Um, well, you're going to want anything that can mount a disk or mount an ISO file to a virtual drive. I would say use these daemon tools. Uh, Power ISO is much more above board now, but in the past I have had problems with them. In the what they've, uh, it, it's come with stuff that's been installed, and it's kind of hard to tell that it's going to get installed with it, and it's had dodgy things on there. Nowadays it's much more above board, but still daemon never been a problem with them. Uh, you can get a free version of it if you're willing to have advertisement on there. So as you can see, I've already set this up. You can just do that just by literally going, as you see, I've got it on my desktop here. 
Right, okay, so there we go, that's set up there. As you see, I've already got this mounted. It's almost like I did this, I've already recorded this once before and realized that I screwed up my mic recording. Almost like that, almost. So I'm gonna unmount that so you can see what's going on. Um, and is it? click mount. Now what I would say here is when this comes up here, uh, you wanna open the folder to view files. Now you can just go to, you can just navigate to your computer and do it that way. It just makes it easier to have that folder open and to do it that way. Right, okay, so next thing you need to do is we now need to extract this MCX original to the hard drive. I went ahead and extracted it to a games one, and as you can see, I've also already copied those files over. Still giving that impression that I screwed this video up once, huh? Right, so once you've got that open here, um, you should see that you have um, all of these different resolution exe files so whatever resolution you want to play it in you need to be opening one of them as you can see i actually have power iso installed so it's it's not so bad nowadays but yeah i didn't find any problems with it but i would just say stick with demon tools um i can't remember why i installed it now yeah. right so at this point here, you should be able to just open the game from these. I mean, you can send that to a desktop if you want, but just double click it, it should open the game. So what I'm gonna do is just double click that. Ah, okay, so anyone who played this game when it first came out is probably having a real nostalgia kick right now. You old bastards. So I've just gone ahead and escaped out of the intro there. Um, and what you should see is up in the top left hand corner, this will be the sort of main menu. And we click original campaign here. Command interface initiate incoming transmission. Davian guards. Right, so this is what the mech bay looks like, the briefing deployment, and once you actually start up, this will come into full screen and get to see it. Now I will say if you can't see any of the video, that is something I've had an issue with before, and I'll, I'll take you through how I fixed that. It's a really weird thing though, it's like you, I don't understand why it works, but it worked for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw uh, links in there and just begin the mission. Commencing deployment. As you can see, it's working. Now, what you'll see here is in these uh, corners of this screen, you see this is static we've got in the bottom, well, in all the corners here. In the earlier missions, it's not a problem, but I find that on campaign three and four, if you're moving into that area and you're trying to click over there, for some, if you try and move your mouse into that area, for some reason, it's a problem. Now, when you're on here, it doesn't see, it seems to be a bit weird. Uh, let's try zooming in. Zooming in and out seems to fix it on these early ones, but on campaign three and four, it's a problem. In fact, I remember that being a problem on the original game. I can't remember how it's fixed, so I'm gonna figure out how to do that. But when you do come to play in the game, um, if, if you have problems where you keep putting your mouse in there and it crashes the game, just use the keys like I am here to move around and make sure you just don't move your mouse cursor off of here. It can be a bit of a problem clicking down here, um, but yeah, you can do it by clicking in here and like selecting people that way. Don't know why that's a problem. I'll, I'll figure out a way to fix that. Mission failed. Right, so if you do find that when you start up the game, the, vi the video files aren't playing, uh, this is what I did, is I went and turned off direct draw. So if we go turn that to false. So what I see, I've opened up the prefs file there. That's what's obviously opened it in notepad. Let's save that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up again. As you can see, it kind of messes with the colors, um, but weirdly enough, doesn't mess with anything else. It's just these things that have that are obviously these logos are really the only problem because you can see the video playing just fine. Command interface initiate incoming transmission. Right, and clicking on full screen though, like this. Yeah, there we go. Starts to work. Begin mission. As you can see, working the same as before. So, I mean, unless you are particularly, oh, 
get myself off of the game there. Um, unless you are particularly interested in seeing the logos a specific way, it's really not. A, if you do find a video doesn't work, just turn off that direct play. And if you do want to see the logos, I found that turn it back on once the video is played once and it works fine, or even just the, one of the videos plays starts to play once, you can just turn this back on and it works perfectly fine. Right, okay. So you should now be able to play a high resolution version of the game and it should work fine. Apart from that problem with the campaigns, but that was something I remember back from the other one. I am racking my brains on how I fixed that. I can't remember, but I'll find out. Um, you should be able to play the game and hopefully you will enjoy it. I hope you found this video useful. Please do drop any problems or feedback down in the comments. Please do throw a like if you found the video useful. Have fun guys. Now I'm just gonna show you how to do the original version of the game. So this is where I said that you want the um, the folder for this open uh, where you've got it mounted. So as you can see, I've brought that up there and um, what you would do is you would just literally just grab all of this and just literally drag it into that folder. So if we go now to that folder that I've created for this, this is my Met Commander Gold old school folder. Now this is one where you are gonna to have to send this to the desktop and we're gonna to have to do some changes. It's gonna be a bit funky, but it would actually give you the original look of the game. I don't know if OBS is gonna capture it properly though. Um, so I'll try and approximate it in video editing afterwards. What we're gonna do is send this to the desktop first. And what we're gonna to have to do again is open up the prefs file and return direct draw to false. It has to be off. It just the game will not run with direct draw on if you're doing it in the original way. So once that's done, uh, we want to set up the compatibility on this. And you want these compatibility modes uh, options. You've got one is programming compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2 running 640 by 840 screen resolution, override high DPI, DPI scaling behavior, scaling performed by application, disable full screen optimization, run this program as administrator. Once you've got those set up, um, the game will open in the original four by three resolution. Um, so what I'm gonna do is gonna open that up. You may not have actually, OBS might not have captured that. So as you'll see here is this is, it it's all looks a bit funky, so I'm just going to escape out of that. Now, once you get to this menu, if you now press the maximize the window, you end up with it effectively in full screen. And this is uh, very much like the original version of the game. So if you want that really nostalgic feeling, command interface initiate. This is it. Transmission. Now, I actually prefer playing it like this. Um, I mean, high resolution, it's really nice and it's easier to set up. But I actually like playing it like this because, you know. Commencing deployment. Not Prepare right, here. For have a new contact. right. There you go. That's working. Mission failed. Incoming transmission. Right guys, I really hope you found that useful. Uh, depending on which version of the game you want to play, I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, drop any problems you've got in the comments. Um, and yeah, please do give us a bit of feedback on this. Feel free to throw a like. Yeah, totally begging for likes there. Do apologize. I think it's actually the first time I've done that. Oh, I feel like I've sold my soul to the devil. <gasps> um yeah i really hope you guys uh enjoyed this and you're gonna enjoy the game catch you all soon